We saw what uh, the Giants and Steph Saquon Barkley are capable of doing, but we've got Stefan Diggs here, and we saw what you guys are capable of doing. So just take me in that locker room for a second. What was it like just now with the celebration? It was exciting, especially the triumph at the end. You know, it was tough, tough sledding. Um, they say all wins won't be pretty, and that was definitely an ugly win. But uh, coming out of halftime, you know, we anticipated trying to bounce back. You know, it was 0-0. You know, they were up, but it was 0-0. We were trying to, trying to shift the game, get, get going on offense and really change the game. Let me ask you what was said at halftime because it looked like you came out with the mentality to run the ball a little bit in, in that first drive of the second half. Get back to being us. Like uh, We had some success running the ball early. We kind of got away from it a little bit, and we went back to it. You know, We were throwing the ball efficiently, but not as much as we wanted to. So uh, running the ball kind of got us back on track, yeah. and then things kind of opened things up. Got pretty chippy out there, pretty yeah. emotional. Yeah. Um, what was going on out there? I think it's just because you know uh, it's an emotional game. You know? Uh, Sunday night football, you know, their coach used to be here. It's a lot of things that played a part in it. But I would say mostly that they were they were battling. That's a oh. good team. That's definitely a good team and you know, well coached. It was it was tough for me tonight as well. So, you know, it was all right. As tough as it was on you, Stefan, I do want to get to a point because we showed the cameras caught you on the sideline. I mean, you're trying to get guys jacked yeah. up and fired up. And even after difficult plays, you're you're over there rallying everybody around. Why do you find that to be such an important role in what you're trying to accomplish here in this offense? I mean, I believe that, you know, I've been a captain for the past couple of years, and I feel like that's part of my role. I mean, not only playing well on the field, but being that guy, uh, kind of keep us in the right mindset, positive energy, and uh, get my guys rolling. You know, if I'm if I'm not making plays, I need to start making plays. If I'm, if I'm on the sideline, I need to pump my guys up, keep us in the right mindset because I feel like that translates, and, you know, came into fruition today. Where does that passion and that competitiveness yeah. come from within you? I mean, it's... Because you're a feisty <laughs> 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 uh, I mean, I don't know. I say it all the time. Uh, my biggest motivation are the things behind me. You know what I'm saying? My past, my upbringing, mm. my life, you know, not so much the things that are in front of me, like with the defense and everything, because I work all week to try to have success on the field. I expect success, but my biggest motivation is just, you know, life. Life is hard. Your upbringing is hard. And if you kind of, like, shoulder it instead of stomach it, I feel like uh, your farewell. You said it was tough for you out there. We gave their DBs a lot of credit. It looked like yeah. they took the challenge yeah. and they played a lot of man coverage and they – they manned up with you guys. What, tell, tell us about their secondary. Uh, it was it was different because we watched them on tape. Uh, they have a great defensive coordinator. Uh, as we watched them on tape, we were trying to kind of interested on how they were going to play us. And uh, they did a lot of different things. They manned up, and they kind of mixed a lot of coverages. Yeah. And I saw it's crazy. That's the most most double I've ever seen since I've been in the league. But it, uh, they had a healthy balance of, you know, switching it up, kind of giving us different looks. And, uh, you know, we just got to get on the same page and stay on the same page. That's why when we uh, buckle down, ran the ball, you know, play what you see, yeah. things got a little better. How do you guys as a team continue to go out there and play and compete when you when you continually see guys go down, yeah. whether it was, you know, Hamlin and just guys, Matt Milano, just guy after guy. How do you guys continue to get your mind right to go back on the field? It's play? tough. I mean, when you see your guys hurt, especially guys, you know, on a personal level, guys that you battle with, you've played the game, you yeah. coach the game, you've been around it for a long time. That next man mindset is like, you know, you say it, it sounds cliche, like next man up, but we live it. We lived it since I've been here. Stuff has happened each and every year, and we just got that team that's kind of built off of adversity. Like a lot of guys that were counted out, a lot of guys that were, you know, people say this or say this about them, but uh, when you when you bounce back and when you lean on the guys that you do have, I find it to be something that you build your team around, that camaraderie, that, that real camaraderie. We heard the update that Damian Harris went to the hospital, yeah. but he does have movement in his yes. in his arms and his God's legs. God's good. God's good. good. Yeah. yeah, anything else that you can provide us with insight as far as an update on his status? Well, I don't know the injury report too much. I'm just happy to know that he's moving around, and, you know, hopefully we hear from him soon. Yep. The last couple of weeks you guys have started slow <laughs> yeah. out there in London and tonight. Um, how do you guys kind of change that? I mean, we talked about it all week. Uh, came in with a mindset, you know. Coach, coaches always say, "Get your, uh, get your pee hot." I'm not gonna say piss, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> but, they, but they say that, and uh, you already said you it. Know, okay, my bad. But I really, I really hone in on like practice during the week. You know what I'm saying, coming in with the right mindset, and you know, having that success comes from the preparation. You know, energy comes from execution, and at times we execute, at times we got energy. Just being consistent. You know, obviously today we kind of figured it out. Running the ball had a little bit more success, and that brought the juice. Whatever it is, it win. Uh, we got to do it in. I can see why they named you captain. Why? Because you're real. I appreciate that. That's right. And no fluff, no fluff. I'll tell you how it is. <laughs> who's, the most, who's the most vocal leader in that locker room right now? Besides yourself, of course. Uh, I would say uh, <laughs> J. Poe, yeah. Micah. Actually, the guys that are captains, they – they do a great job. Um, Dirty Reds on, on special teams, just the guys that we lean on. Your playmakers and the guys that, you know, steer this team and lead this team, even Josh. Like, Josh will come to me. Uh, he, trying to, he tries to say, 
Like, I want to just stay right here. And I tell him, like, I need a little bit of juice out of you. Sometimes it gets me going a little bit when I see my quarterback going. But I'd rather him making good decisions and, and balling out than, you know, juiced up. You know, I love you, you guys' safeties. Um, yes. Foyer and Micah High. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, them boys can play. <laughs> but I love the leadership from them yeah. guys, especially with so many injuries on mm -hmm. the defensive side of the ball. Talk about them a little bit. It's crazy because I see those guys each and every day, and they never change. Those guys that come to work, they prepare the right way. Uh, they're disciplined. And out here, it shows. They make plays. Uh, they're where they're supposed to be, and they compete at a high level for. So my respect for them goes far beyond just football, just as men. Man, you know, they have that love and passion for the game. But for me, when I see them, and I see them out here hooping and balling out, I'm like, yeah, those are my guys. I love them. Great. Stefan, before you go, I got to see this necklace. It's beautiful. Which one? The colors. <laughs> I know, seriously. You got colors in Calls there. You got oh, that, yeah. Open it up, coach. Let's see that bling. There's, I like that. There's three of them in okay, there. Hey, they just hang out. I keep it real. Looks awesome. Keep Stephane, it real. Stefan, awesome. great, I wish great I game tonight. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much for coming out and joining appreciate us. Appreciate it. Thank really you so much. I appreciate y'all. Always nice yeah, talking to you. Best of luck to you moving forward.